I am gaming. I am gaming. I am gaming podcast. Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on the latest episode of I Am Gaming Podcast. This is a podcast about the video game industry, entrepreneurship, gaming nostalgia, YouTube shorts and creation of YouTube shorts and many more cool things I find to be in the same realm of business and creative ventures. Like always, before we dive into episode 199, which is all about YouTube shorts, I want to thank my patron supporters who really and truly make this podcast possible. Without your generous constant monthly donations, I wouldn't be able to continue making new content and pushing it out week by week, every week, for the last nearly four years. So again, a big, big thanks to all of you. You are really awesome and really cool and I'm really super grateful to have you around. Everyone else, please check out the description below and see what my Patreon supporters are doing. If you'd like to support me as well, check out my Patreon page, even a buck per month would be more than amazing and would make my day if you can afford it. If not, there are other ways how you can support me, but we'll talk about that later on. Right now, I simply want to get into the subject, the main topic of tonight's, today's talk, today's podcast, which is YouTube Shorts and why it's so interesting to play around with them and try to create something that will go more or less viral. Now. My YouTube shorts are really dynamic, diverse, and I cover a lot of topics and I delve into a lot of interesting things, at least in my view, which are all more or less connected to my main topics of interest on this channel, which is video games, of course, but also technology and pop culture. And to a degree, sub sections of those ideas, like for example, the crypto domain, and many other things that basically fascinate me <laughs> regularly and make me interested in them. Now I try to make YouTube shorts that kind of follow the concept, the ideas of regular YouTube videos, but these didn't get so much traction after the initial ones that I made basically around the TV show Last of Us. These of course got pretty much a lot of traction, but that was because they blended perfectly with the period when these topics were interesting to people because they were interested in the TV show that was published or coming out in the same time frame. But after that, I kind of started experimenting with different things. And my last, let's say, push of experimentation is focusing basically on really short form on completely new, different and let's say YouTube short custom made videos that try to generate interest through a visual appeal more than the topic itself in a semantic or intellectual way. So far, so good. There's been some of it was successful, some of it was not, but overall I think I'm slowly and incrementally getting the hang of it in terms of what makes people watch short videos and YouTube shorts and what should the content be. And the first thing kind of is to forget the basic elements of YouTube clips, regular videos and focus on the formulas that you want to explore. Like I said, mainly visually because you want to help people stop scrolling and watch your video and employ these to create content. That content can be seconds long. It can last for 10, 15, even a few seconds if it manages to catch the attention and catch the processes behind the YouTube algorithm, it will be able to generate views and will be able to attract viewers. A lot of it is still dark arts in my mind. It's a formula that is really hard to nail down. Many are trying, some are succeeding, getting millions and hundreds of millions of views actually. and those are outliers. Many of us are simply struggling along, trying to figure out how, what and what in general can be done to get that attention, get that view and continue getting them over a prolonged period of time. But what is essential, at least in my view, is to continue experimenting, to continue playing around with YouTube Shorts, because through that you get more information about your 
particular subject or topic domain that is of interest to people watching shorts and then you can use the same knowledge to create better shorts and get more views that's at least my plan and something that i'll probably continue doing in the coming months because first and foremost i find it really fun and interesting it's almost like searching for something with a metal detector on a beach or trying to find mushrooms in the forest or do some other similar process of both scavenging and cobbling something together which will then be interesting to people and which can provide you with direct results in terms of views and of course monetization through the views there are other secondary benefits like getting more subscribers but the thing that you're looking for like in the old days of youtube before watch time was essential for longer clips is to get those blue lines of views in your analytics and continue getting them in the long term so that's what i'm planning to continue doing and i'm going to keep you updated with all of that but for now it's a whole lot of fun and hope it continues to be so that's it for this episode i would love to hear from you if you're also making youtube shorts what is working for you what is not thank you so much for listening thanks so much for being here if you're a first time viewer please consider subscribing that's the cheapest easiest and most effective way to support my channel if you are already here because you subscribed consider watching and listening to my previous episodes and of course if you're really liking what you hear here 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 please consider becoming my patron supporter the link is in the description below again a big thanks to all of my other patron supporters for their continued efforts and expenses in supporting i am gaming podcast that's it for me again thank you for being here have a great week and i'll talk to you precisely seven days from now until then bye bye